What's up guys, Casey here with the Coyote Works channel. Well, I got some questions about my range belt setup that I'm running, so I thought I'd just really quick show you guys what I run for a range belt for when I'm out shooting. So this setup here, just to be clear, is really just very specifically for my shooting and practicing. So I have other belts set up for other purposes like your traditional battle belt type of a thing that has like med kit and all kinds of stuff like that on it. But this one's pretty much just my basic range belt. However, all the critical things on it are set up in exactly the same place as they would be on any other belt that I run. So right out of the gate, this is the applied gear double duty belt. And there's a couple of things that I really like about this belt and why I use it. Now keep in mind that I've got some other belts. I've got belts from HSGI, from T-Rex Arms, uh, Coyote Tactical Solutions, uh, and uh, probably even a couple of more that I'm not thinking of. But I've kind of gravitated towards this applied gear belt for a couple of reasons. One, I really like the rigidity of it. It's a super stiff, rigid kind of a platform which to me is really important to keep my stuff from moving around. From, it prevents stuff from sliding up and down my hips and keeps everything really solid for me to draw from, do mag changes, that kind of stuff. So this belt's got Velcro on the inside and it allows you to be able to attach it to either an inner duty belt or in my case, what I've got it attached to is an HSGI slim grip panel that Velcros to the inside. So I'm not a big fan of the system where you have an outer range belt and an inner duty belt that Velcro together, where the inner duty belt goes through the belt loops or some kind of keepers on your pants. And the reason why I'm not a big fan of that system is because, well, I guess in part because I'm in Central Oregon where we have really inclement weather and I'm constantly changing layers of clothing. And so when I have outer layers on, that kind of a system doesn't work really well. Whereas this type of a system with just a grippy kind of pad on the inside, this allows me to take my belt off, switch layers out really quick, put my belt back on without any issues. So for to give you an idea of how rigid this belt is, here's another belt setup I have. And this is an HSGI duty belt, same type of a belt system, uh, Velcro on the inside. I have it set up the same way with the laser slim grip panel on the inside. But look how floppy this belt is compared to the applied gear belt, which is nice and rigid. Also notice how this, I have my gear set up exactly the same way on it. I'm running a little bit different holster. This is a T-Rex arms holster. These are T-Rex arms, Mars, mag carriers. But notice how everything is positioned exactly the same. My pistol holster's in the same spot. My pistol magazine pouches are in the same spot. And my rifle mag pouch is in the same spot. And even my dump pouch is in the same spot. So going back to my main range belt that I run all the time, real quick rundown about how I have it set up. So I have a strong side holster. For me, that's the right hand side. This one happens to be a tier one concealed holster and I'm running it on a Safari Land mid, mid ride UBL with the QLS system. The QLS system allows me to quickly attach and detach holsters for running different guns, different handguns, whether I'm running a gun with a light or without a light or a Glock 34 or a Glock 19 or whatever, I can quickly switch out holsters. So that's the holster I'm running. This is the Maxpedition Roly-Poly uh, mag dump pouch. I like dump pouches that have the ability to roll up and be fairly compact on the belt. So this fits that bill. For magazine pouches on this one, I'm running the uh, HSGI Polymer Taco pouches. These pouches work just fine for like my range setups and everything. So these have nice, nice friction. They hold the magazines really well, but they're easy to draw out of. Then I just threw a little loop on here with a uh, HK style clip. This is just something for me to attach gloves or whatever I want to. And that's pretty much it. That's how I run my range belt. Um, nice and simple, but everything in exactly the same place that I would run it for like a duty setup or like my wilderness carry belt or um, anything like that. All the critical stuff's all in the same spot. Again, this is the applied gear double duty belt and mine's in obviously this pretty sick badass woodland camo which i love the old school woodland camo with that said it's starting to rain again and i want to get some more shooting in before uh it gets too terrible so that's all for this one guys hit me up with any questions comments down below 
I'll try to do some more videos on some of the shooting gear that I'm doing, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Coyote Works, out.